Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching The Apothecary Diaries, episode 7. So we really enjoyed the, the last batch of episodes. I, I feel like the show kind of... I don't know, got a lot more exciting. There were there was a lot more going on, a lot more drama. Uh, so we got the garden party and uh, one of the concubines almost got poisoned. It was a bit of a jumbly mess, but we got there in the end after kind of studying the episode. And yeah, Lady Lishu, I think her name is. Someone was intending to poison her, right? And luckily enough, her poison tester or her food tester kind of wanted to bully her a little bit and put some mackerel in her dish, which she really doesn't like, or swapped Gyokyo's. But then it turned out Gyokyo's dish actually had poison in it. So we had a theory last episode that Arduo is probably behind all of this um, because there seemed to be some tension between her and Lady Li Shu mm -hmm. back when they both worked for the previous emperor. And it's making a bit more sense that that might be the case now. She might want to wipe out all of the concubines because... I'm only saying this because this is a very like realistic show and um, they seem to focus on like pretty real sort of topics back in the time. Her biological clock might be ticking a bit. She's like the oldest out of all of them and she probably wants to really secure her spot mm -hmm. as like wife or main concubine because if, if it is too late, maybe she's just like thrown to the side. I don't exactly know what happens to them. But basically by swapping the dishes, that knocks out two birds with one stone if it was successful. Yeah, I, I'm starting to think that it's probably not her specifically doing it, but someone no, to do with her. No, obviously she's yeah. not doing yeah, it she's herself. She's not going to want to incriminate herself. But there are probably people doing it um, under her command. Mm -hmm. And Lady Leowa was really sick with the white powder. Mm -hmm. I know her maids were, you know, putting it on her, but she might have given them the manufacturer or something. I don't know, but she's the only one who hasn't really been injured in like the last year or so. Right. Yeah, I don't mind that theory for sure. There's also some more mystery shrouding Jinshi, the hairpins. So there's mm. quite a bit to uncover in these episodes. If you guys are interested in signing up to our Patreon, you'll gain three to four weeks of early access to our current shows, and you'll also find reactions that are exclusive to our Patreon. If you're interested, you can check out our link in the description below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. We're actually going to get a full backstory episode. I mean, it's called Homecoming. They might sprinkle it in throughout the whole episode. Man, I wanted to see all the drama at the tea party. Yeah. Not tea party, garden party. <laughs> 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 he probably has won me over, I gotta say. Not much wrong about him. <laughs> you never know with Mau Mau. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. It's efficient. <laughs> okay, so now they know a human touched it. Oh, the culprits. Unlucky for the culprit that Mau Mau's on the job because <laughs> if they knew what she could do, they wouldn't have done this for sure. Oh, 
第三者怪談のことです兵士様の毒味役が嫌がらせにわざと入れ替えたのでしょう毒とは知らずに入れ替えた You want to eat the fish? The main. That is a really main thing to do. <laughs> That's why she, yeah, gave that evil smile. Yeah. The show can be misleading, though. Yeah. You would have thought that she wanted to poison her. Uh huh. Gosh, man, okay. Gonna... I thought that was the practice back then because that, that's how they did it, but <laughs> said no one ever except for Mao Mao. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's a really trustworthy man. Your true status. True status. Did she ever? She still has no idea what it means. <laughs> oh no. She's gonna escape. She's gonna, she's gonna be mortified. She's gonna pull a prison break. Oh, she's giving her treats. She's been getting her treats. That's so nice. Yeah, that's really cute. <laughs> she just can't shake it. I know. Shouldn't be handing them out if you don't right. want people to take them seriously. You're right. Oh, he doesn't even know who it is. He's remembering now. Oh my gosh. Not what you think. <laughs> no one recognizes her, it's so funny. Yeah. Oh. She's not in the know, Carly. Her friend. Okay. What's her name? Xiao. Something. Yeah, she still doesn't understand. Oh dear. You said this guy had kind eyes. He did. Flower viewing? Oh, that kind of flower. The dude is rattled. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> She's really good. <laughs> she is good. Oh, okay. He's just got the cheap dollar store pin. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's magnificent. Yeah. No. <laughs> the heck? 
telling you, they're more invested in Mau Mau than Gyokyo. Oh yes, the snaze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she knew it would go like that. Just mm -hmm. teasing him. She is just cheeky. <laughs> the guy's excited to say the least. Yep. <gasps> oh! What in the world just happened? Nothing in comparison to this woman. Mates rights? She should have more money though. For, every, for everything she's done. I know. She's gonna get abducted. Probably used to walking these streets. That's okay, she got the freckles on and all of that. Said that helps yeah. deter them. A while? Gone for almost a year, like man. A bit out of it. Well, this is just where Mao Mao gets her lack of enthusiasm from. What? What does he mean by that? I'm not sure exactly what he means by that, but this seems like it could be one of the bigger twists of the show. Yeah. It's almost like, yeah, she was meant to be at the palace, the rear palace. Twist of fate, yeah. A twist of fate's almost like an ironic turn of events. Yeah. Is she going to be a concubine? No. Uh... We don't know the exact um, details of her lineage, but... This... No, I'm thinking he must have some sort of connection to... Someone there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he used to love someone there who's old enough. Well, we don't know anything about the mum as well. The dowager? The emperor's mum? No. Oh, um, Mao Mao's mum. Mao Mao's mum. That's true. Okay. We need more. Yeah, that, there's not a twist that I expected, but I, I, I'm i starting to believe that there's going to be some sort of revelation about um who she's related to and all that sort of thing. If he said that was a twist of fate. Mm. Their interaction was quite odd. He uh, Maybe he's just like really tired and... I think that they're both just like that. Mm, okay. Um, it was the same as when they, the kidnappers took Mau Mau. He didn't really... She was like, oh, yeah. dad's going to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> and when she came back, he was like, hey. <laughs> yeah. I like the granny lady reacted more than he did. Yeah. She... So that just tells me Mau Mau and her dad are like that. Oh, okay. Carefree a little bit. Yeah. Or like not, not too dramatic. Just like a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't say it's dramatic for a father to, you know, be concerned when, when their well, daughter's kidnapped and no, taken away what? for 10 months. But when 
They're reunited in each other's arms, like hugging and crying. I didn't that's expect dramatic. that. That's dramatic. I'm not saying that's unusual. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't expect that necessarily. Neither did I, but it just tells me something about both of their characters. Okay. She did seem happy to see him, though. It was yeah. kind of nice. Well, she wanted to go back and visit. Like, she set it all up. Yeah. She probably had a quick check to see if uh, maybe he had deteriorated a lot or not. Mm-hmm. And uh, she seems not too bothered. So I think he's he's going okay. He seems all right. He's trotting along just fine. Yeah. Like, from the flashback we saw at the start of the episode, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like he's declined too much more since then. Uh, I did like the big brain behavior from Mau Mau again to to get what she wanted here. She's uh, very clever. Yeah. Good uh, chess player. Yeah, the way she manipulated, uh, what was that guy? Lee Hook. Forget it. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it starts with L. Yeah, the way she just bodied him in that interaction, got him to question her standing and the people that she knows, because yeah. she had the hairpins, took out a few of them. And then they were on their way was uh, really epic. So that that's kind of interesting that, you know, it can be used in that sort of regard. You know, she can leave the palace. I was wondering, you know, in the first six or so episodes, like, mm. when is she actually going to be able to get out of here for a yeah. bit? I think it was also funny how uh, Giochio is kind of keeping herself entertained with the drama. Yeah. I think she likes to see drama in other people's lives because I don't think she has much going on in her own. No. Oh. But yeah, she's kind of a bit cheeky with it, isn't she? She teases Jinshi quite a bit, yeah. 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 Now, there was also something mentioned about Jinshi, about revealing his true status. Yeah. So there, there was that mentioned, oh and then also something about Mal Mal potentially. You're right about Jinshi, I'm actually going to be so annoyed. <laughs> I mean, I've done the typical Ange theory and based it off hair colour and um and looks. I'm still rolling with it. It is what it is, Carly. That's how, you know, that's how it is with humans. But then again, I don't think they've made anything too obvious in the show. They kind of keep things pretty low key and uh, slowly start revealing things. Mm. Like we didn't really make any headway when it came to who poisoned Li Shu. Not too much, at least. Yeah. There was a little bit mentioned about the dress. Yeah. How they were dressed and how they're treating Lady Li Shu mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, and why that is the case. Just revealing that she's got even more people who might want to pick on her and poison her, potentially. Yeah. But in terms of actual suspects, not a whole heap. So we'll probably have to wait on that a little bit. I think before anyone starts making any allegations, they have to, like, progress a little bit further. I'm enjoying the girlhood in this show. (laughs) (laughs) There is a bit of girlhood. Yeah, for sure. There's a bit of girlhood, definitely. We've got the ladies-in-waiting looking after Mau Mau, making sure she gets some good sleep. Mm-hmm. So cute. And they were so excited for her when when they found out that she was, you know, going off or whatever with the hairpin man. <laughs> yeah. Um and then Mao Mao's looking after oh, I still don't know her name. Zhao Long Zhao Ling Zhao Lang. Okay. One of one of them maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Cutie. Yeah, that was nice. She's like giving her treats, you know, because of her you know, the position she's in, she you know, she got access to the kitchen and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Um it's cute. She kind of gives her the tea in, in um in exchange, but yeah, they do have like a cute sort of friendship there. You know, it's pretty low key. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.